Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for erectile dysfunction in India. So what is erectile dysfunction? It's when one is unable to get and maintain an erection. Men of any age experience erectile problems. Around the age of 40, about 40% 40 of men say they have some sexual dysfunction. Overall, it, erectile dysfunction affects about a third of men. And the, the uh, United States is really no different from India in these percentages. 45, 40% uh, 40 of men at age 40 and nearly 70% of men are affected at age 70. So look at this graph. Um, so look how it goes up and up and up. And when you get over the age of 70, it's over 80%. I mean, um, it's just crazy. So it's a very common problem, obviously one that not a lot of men are comfortable talking about. Um, what are the reasons it happens? Erectile function involves a complex relationship between neurologic, vascular, hormonal, and psychological components. So it's not simple, right? So reasons men can experience chronic erectile dysfunction, from a physical aspect, it could be high blood pressure, diabetes is very, very commonly associated, or obesity, kidney disease, uh, prostate cancer, low T, testosterone, a thyroid issue, or it could be after an injury uh, to the area. Psychologically, stress can be a huge component, depression, anxiety, possibly low self-esteem. What are the tests to evaluate for ED? There can be some blood tests, looking at hormones, things like that, urine tests as well. The overnight erection test, uh, quite simply, is something where when a man goes to sleep, Typically, men have a few erections during the night as they sleep. So if the test shows that, then it may be something that's psychological. The injection test uh, can be where you inject the cavernosum with medicine, like a trimix or something, and if erection occurs, then most likely it's a blood flow problem. And then ultrasound also looks at blood flow to see if it's within normal limits. Traditional treatments, uh, lifestyle changes, if there's obesity, losing weight, drinking less alcohol, quitting smoking. Um, for people who have uh, psychological issues, counseling can be very, very helpful for stress, anxiety, depression. There are some medications that worldwide are really common, Cialis and Viagra. Those work very commonly, but it can be a little bit of a hassle kind of having to take a pill, or it may get to a point where those pills don't work anymore. There are some injections that can produce an erection. Um, how big of a pain is that, right? Hold on one second before we get you know, into this. I need to go do an injection in the other room. Um, there are some pumps like vacuum devices, uh, shockwave therapy. We do that frequently for patients who have ED. It helps to uh, break up scar tissue and bring in new blood flow. Uh, and then as a last resort, surgery, like a penile implant can be helpful. There's also vascular reconstruction surgery um, that can, can help. When you look at stem cell therapy for ED, it's been an extremely safe treatment option. Um, we use umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells and exosomes, which are stem cell derived. This is from a donor tissue. There's no harm to baby or mother. This is from the umbilical cord, which normally gets discarded you know, after a C-section procedure. Uh, we've done these treatments for over 10 years, 21,000 plus. Um, we've never had a significant adverse event. There's no need for immunosuppression. The results have been stellar for over 50 conditions. ED is one of them. What are the benefits? Well, vasculogenesis is a fancy word meaning development of new blood flow. Um, <clears throat> it also helps to repair and regenerate damaged tissues. It can inhibit scar formation. So if someone has not just ED, but also like Peyronie's disease, it can inhibit scar formation from forming, helping uh, prevent it from getting worse. Now, the biologics that we use have an entire orchestra of regenerative components, not just the stem cells, but cytokines, growth factors, exosomes. Um, I call it a biological soup, which helps uh, for ED and, and the other conditions that we treat. What does the research show? Well, 
This study, current perspectives on stem cell therapy for ED. Research has demonstrated that with transplantation, stem cells exert a paracrine effect on penile tissue. Paracrine is a fancy word meaning cell-to-cell communication. It tells the cells to uh, go to work and help to reprogram and regenerate the area, uh, develop new blood flow, um, differentiate into the tissues that are needed. So that's what paracrine effect is. Stem cells have proven safe and effective in both animal and human models with erectile dysfunction. Here's a review of human trials using stem cell therapy for ED. They took five completed human clinical trials, combined the results, and looked at the safety and effectiveness and found that that it was very promising. It was very, very safe, and the results were very good as stem cell therapy as a restorative therapy for treatment of ED. Um, This was a European Association of of Urology presentation, um, and it was uh, looking at 21 patients who had erectile dysfunction after a prostatectomy. So it really wasn't from blood flow issue, it was from having cut nerves during the prostatectomy. Um, Men between the ages of 40 and 70, and what they found was that a single injection of stem cells worked amazingly well for the one year follow up in those who were continent, you know, at inclusion in the study. So we used to think that it really only worked well for people who had a vascular problem, a blood flow issue, but now we know that that's not necessarily the case. It can work really well for people who have a neurologic issue as well. Stem cell therapy in diabetic men with ED. Uh, This was just four patients who had refractory ED, meaning the medications weren't working anymore, the injections as well. So two consecutive intracavernosis mesenchymal stem cell injections were performed, and the safety and effectiveness was evaluated for two years, and the results were incredible. It helped all four patients, and it was very safe. I do want to mention that embryonic stem cells and induced pluripotent stem cells, there's a lot of chatter about those, but they're not ready for prime time use by a long shot. If anyone suggests those, I mean, you should run away. We use what's called adult stem cells, but I mean, they come from umbilical cord, but that's the classification. They don't have the problems that embryonic stem cells do, like rejection, we'd have never seen that. Tumor formation, we've never seen that, and there's over 10 studies showing evidence that that just doesn't occur. So the stem cells that we use are from mesenchymal stem, or we have mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells, and then the stem cell exosomes also are derived from umbilical cord tissue. Stem cell therapy for ED has been shown to work very well in virtually all of these studies without any, any significant adverse events. Granted, the studies have been relatively small, you know, upwards of like 40 patients, Our experience has shown that 90% of ED patients respond exceptionally well if it's a vascular issue. With the post-prostatectomy where it's a nerve issue, we see more like 70%. Excellent results. So in India, we've combined all the essentials for a first-rate stem cell program. We have really highly skilled expert doctors. You'll have a dedicated patient concierge representative to help you. These are safe biologics with very high stem cell counts. Most of the time when you're getting a treatment for ED, it's in combination with say a diabetic stem cell therapy or or something else. So it can be a combination of an intravenous cell therapy along with the injections into the penis. People think that's very, very painful. It's not. We use numbing um, cream, makes it really, really tolerable um, and it's virtually painless. We have a very convenient location in New Delhi and you know for the last 10 years we've had the most cost-effective stem cell program in the world by far. Our biologic quality is first rate. They come from the United States. Our US lab is um, regulated by the FDA. Our quality assurance is more involved than the FDA. We're ISO certified, CGMP compliant, We have over 85% viability with our stem cells. Um, Our ground transportation is included in our pricing for international patients. Um, So from the airport to the clinic, hotel and back, we do provide travel logistics assistance. International patients who come in do receive a free trip to the Taj Mahal. It's about an hour and a half from our clinic. We provide the transportation and the the guide. Um, It's one of the seven wonders of the world. It's It should not be missed. It's incredible. 
So as I mentioned, um, we're in New Delhi. The process starts with a free phone consultation. Um, we don't charge for that. And to get the process started, visit us today at r3stemcell.com slash India. There's a local phone number on the website. You can also call us at our U.S. headquarter number, which is plus one for the prefix, 888-988-0515. Thank you for joining me.